In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can create a simple banner ad. A banner ad is a great vehicle for bringing awareness about your product or services that you can offer to visitors on your website. When creating a banner, you'll need to make a couple of decisions before starting. Is the banner going to be animated one and may entice the viewer to click on it? Or will it be static? The next decision is horizontal or vertical and you'll have to decide which format benefits your site layout and also which will be the best format for your ad. In PaintShop Pro there are a number of preset blank canvases. Under the file menu I'm going to select New and here you can see on the left hand side we have a number of different preset categories. I have user presets. I haven't created any as of yet. We have photo. These are some default photo sizes paper sizes. Here we have various banner or web sizes and I can scroll down and you can see that we also have mobile sizes, card and envelope, presentation, or social media. Let's go back up to the web sizes and in here there's a number of standard banner sizes and whatnot. I'm going to select pop-up for this project. The dimensions you'll note are in pixels with my resolution at 72 dpi. I'll leave it as a raster background and I want it transparent. So I'm simply going to click OK. Let me go ahead and close off this other file. The first thing we want to do with our banner is I'll bring in the picture of the property. Left click and drag. I'm going to bring it into my layers palette. I'm going to drop it right here. That's going to put it onto my document and I can now crop or modify this object. For me to crop a portion out of it, the easiest way is in my Shapes Toolbox. I'm going to select the ellipse and I'll simply draw an ellipse on the page and the size will cover the area that I want to use. Let the mouse button go. It doesn't really matter what color this is. I'm going to go to my Selections menu and down to From Vector Object. That's now created a selection, the shape of that object. I no longer need that, so I'll simply right click on it and I'm going to select Delete. Now you can't see the mask there, it is. I'll simply go to the Selection menu. I'm going to go down to Invert, and that's inverted my selection, and I'm just going to simply tap the Delete key on the keyboard. That's left me with the area of the house that I want to use for my banner. Grabbing the Pick tool will allow me to resize this object and position it where I want. You'll notice I have a promoted selection. I'm simply going to right click on that and I'll select delete. Now it's time to bring my logo in. From my organizer panel, left click and drag and I'm going to drop this on top of the image. I can now resize this, position it where I want. And now it's time to fill in my background. For the background I want to use a gradient fill. The easiest way to do that is to select the layer I want to modify. I'm going to select my marquee selection tool. Left click and drag, create the selection. And now it's simply a matter of going into my flood fill and I'll select gradient fill. And I can now drag top to bottom through this. Notice that my control bar is not perfectly up and down. I can easily fix that on the property bar at the top. I'll just make that 80. Now I want to change the color of the gradient. I'm going to start with my lighter yellow. I'll drop it at the top. We'll go to the gold color. I'll put that in the center. And then the darker color at the bottom. Now of course if I wanted to I can move these up and down. I can also drag other colors along this bar and I'll add that to the fill. I'm going to select my logo in my layers palette. Then with the pick tool selected, I'm going to go to my effects menu, then down to 3D effects, and I'm going to select drop shadow. This allows me to give this object drop shadow. It's easy enough to use. All I need to do is move this around and you can see how that's going to change the drop shadow. I also have the ability of creating presets. Now I've already created one, so I'm going to click on the drop down menu 
and I'm going to select Banner. Clicking OK will apply the drop shadow to this object. I'm going to apply the same drop shadow here. So again, Effects, 3D Effects, Drop Shadow, and then I'll click OK. And finally for this image, I want to add the text. I'll select my text tool in the toolbox, click on the page, I'm going to set my font to Arial. I'm actually going to be using Arial Normal. And now through the magic of copy and paste, I'll do a Control V and that's going to drop my text in the document for me. I'll accept that action. I'm going to select my pick tool and I can now position this text in place. My next string of text is also going to be Arial. So I'll select the text tool, click on my page, and I'll type in my line of text. Select that action. And now the final string of text. I'll grab my text tool. Click on my page. Now this piece of text, I want to make this impact. So I click on the drop down and I can simply type in IM and that's going to scan me right down to the letter I for the font type. Type in the URL, select my pick tool, and now I can resize this. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. And that's basically all there is to it. Now, once we've created our banner, it's time to save it out. There's a couple of different ways we can do this. I can go from the File menu down to Save As, and I can select either a PNG or a GIF image. Alternatively, I can go down to Export 4 and I have PNG Optimizer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select Image Mapper. What this is going to allow me to do is I can pan to the area that I want to have as a hotspot. I'll select the hotspot shape, left click and drag, and I'm going to type in the address. For this project, I'm going to use www.corel.com. The format I want to use is a PNG. And then it's simply a matter of clicking on Save. That's going to send it to the folder I want. I'm going to call this uh, H4S as Homes for Sale. I'll click on Save. It's asking me to save my uh, image now. As I already have it in here, I'm just going to overwrite this file and I'll simply click on Save. And close. Now if I navigate to that folder and I double click on the HTML file, you'll see that it'll open up with my banner. I'll simply click on the link at the bottom and that's going to take me to the Corel.com website. So that brings us to the end of this project on creating a simple web banner in PaintShop Pro. If you have found this tutorial on YouTube while searching for training content, be sure to head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com for more equally informative videos. And if you wish, subscribe.